gear. It can be battle gear. It can also be um, goddess gear. It, it can be. It can be clothes. Okay. So, what I'm doing to make this cloche is I have the pieces of the lampshade that hopefully you saw earlier in this video. And unfortunately, it didn't have a support, like, for the two circles to be connected. So I'll have to create that. But, um, that's unfortunate, but apparently that's how this lampshade was made. That nasty plastic was what was keeping it together. So, basically, I'm just gonna roll this along. Of course, I'm gonna wear gloves, but it's hard to record with gloves on, so I'm just showing you. I'm gonna roll it along and I'm gonna attach it to the lampshade pieces. I'm gonna attach the chicken wire to that with some galvanized wire. And I'm going to roll this circular and I'm going to try and attach this to an upper portion. And then I have to somehow create the supports. So. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so it's a little bit lopsided. But it's a pretty decent little cloche. And I think it would be better if it had some supports going vertical. But as you can see, it, I mean, it's, it's okay on its own. I think it would be better with just some bamboo canes or something. So I'm going to attach some kind of sticks or something just to make it a little bit sturdier, but I think that's pretty, pretty cool. And then this is where you can pick it up and put it, put it down. Now be careful because there can be, there can be a lot of sharp corners. Um, I tried my best to use these needle rose pliers to um, lessen that, but you may have to just be careful um, and not wear gloves when handling it or something. But I think it's pretty, <laughs> there's the lopsidedness. I think it's decent. I think it'll be better once I add some extra supports. So if you guys know me at all, you know I love to reuse things that would otherwise be thrown out or thrown in the recycling bin or something. I don't even know if this entire piece could be recycled or parts of it can. But instead, I kept it and I thought maybe, you know, this it was this long. It was this entire length. I thought maybe it could be a support for plants. But I just now had an idea. Like, what if I use it as a support for this? But... It was really, really tall and it was just one. I only had one. So what I did was I marked the middle with this highlighter and I just made sure that it would work all the way around both pieces. So you can see it fits it. Let's put it at the back fits it back there so it should work perfectly and I cut it with this little cutter and this is usually it's like a little saw and it's usually used for um, PVC pipes and copper pipes to cut them and I wasn't sure if this would work but it worked perfectly it was so easy to cut and now you can see the end of it and these are actually hollow which i didn't know for some reason i was like maybe it's solid but no they're hollow but it's still it's pretty sturdy and i think it will be good for what i need it for so now the tricky part is just to attach it to the cloach and i think that um I'm just gonna try to use the wire to do that. Um, the part that might be the easiest is 
this part just because it's got the little holes I can pull the wire through, but the rest of it might be a little trickier. I think there might be a hole. Is there a hole in this part? Or is it just, I think it was just that end. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I can make a hole or something. We'll see. And I think it's done. These little window blind pulls or whatever you call them, the little twisty things that you use in your window blind, they seem to work pretty great. Cut in half for this project and I just, it is lopsided, but it's homemade with love. And here's the craziness that holds this together. And you can see I did a similar little thing down there and it should hold up pretty well. Now this probably won't keep out like, like the smaller critters, like the small birds, cause my hand kind of fits through. Like probably won't keep out the smaller birds and stuff, but it should hopefully keep out and deter the squirrels. I don't think squirrels can fit through here, but we'll see. We will see. Because the main thing is just the squirrels, because they like to dig in some of my pots. So I think I'm going to put this on one of my pots, and that's it for this video. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. <laughs> it almost looks like a dress form from this angle, because it's like, pew. <laughs>